Hey there guys, welcome back to Cop Talks and another video. Today's video is gonna be a comparison between the Vertex Defiance jeans and the 511's Defender Flex jeans and kind of my opinions on both. I own both and I have them set right here. Just to get it out of the way, the, uh, the Vertex ones here, they are in this black and then the 511's are like traditional blue. Right off the bat, price point, these are both around $50. So one's $49.26, the, the Vertex is, and the 511s retail for about $49.99. Uh, I bought the uh, 511s whenever they were like, I don't know, they had just recently came out, so I think they were like 60 something dollars. You know, sometimes you get better prices with sales and stuff, but as they sit today, December 2019, they're both retailing for about $50. The 511s are the ones I've owned the longest. I've had these for just over a year. Let me get these up here for you. Um, as you can tell, there's a, there's a couple holes worn a few places. This is generally like where my pocket knife sits, just like how any pants kind of wear. You know, if you keep anything in your pocket long enough, it's gonna make an impression on those pants. Another thing is you can see these right here. This is where the fabric gets hung on stuff because it does have like an elastic stretch kind of fabric. It's not a huge extent, but it does stretch more than like regular denim. Now uh, this is actually like from my cats hooking it and basically pulling it out. Um, the pockets are pretty deep. Uh, this is a Samsung Note 8. It fits almost entirely in the pocket. That's pretty nice. And the pockets are kind of really where this thing shines, right? So you have your traditional jeans pocket, you know, you have these, you have the Zippo slash pocket watch pocket. Um, and then on the back here, you have the back pockets. Now these feature actually an extra set of pockets kind of up here. And these fit a whole host of things such as AR magazines. Look at that, it fits it right, just perfect. That's a PMAG. And then even GI mil-spec mags fit just perfect in there. Uh, that also fits it's like two Glock magazines. It comfortably holds, oop, let me get that windlass in there, a tourniquet, which is what I kind of usually keep in there. And even some cell phones do fit in these pockets as well. So I just like the fact that there's extra pockets. I'm a big cargo pants kind of guy. I use them at work, you know, I use them whenever I'm camping and stuff. They're just very practical to have. 511 also incorporates this stretch fabric. Like I said, I'm not a jean guy. I generally find them pretty uncomfortable, but these are fairly comfortable. They flex good. Like you can tell here on the legs, like it does stretch a little bit. So if you're running, squatting, kneeling, shooting, you know, something like that, it, it tends to move with you instead of holding you back. I do like that. Right here on the corner, you can kind of see this seam is starting to give, not the seam itself, but the actual fabric around it is starting to go. Overall, the stitching, fantastic job. Well done on that. It does have the 511 logo down here and a couple of other places on the pants. I could kind of do without that if I'm trying to stay low key. You know, I know people are looking at my butt, but I don't need them knowing kind of what I'm wearing, what I'm carrying and what its capabilities are. So that's, that's the 511s. I, I really do like these. And the color is maintained very well, even through hundreds of washes. It, it's it, overall good pants. Now, the competition, right? Vertex has been in the game for a minute, right? I, I picked these up just a couple of days ago. They have similar features, right? They got, you know, standard jean pockets. They have similar belt loops. And I like that they have really heavy duty belt loops because you can actually wear this in addition to like a gun belt. It fits a good variety of belts. The stitching seems to also be very well done. Uh, same good kind of semi stretch fabric. Uh, and then once again, has these pockets up here. Now I have not tested this out, but I want to see if it'll also fit magazines. These pockets do seem to be maybe a little bit deeper but that fits the PMAG just fine. Yeah, the GI mag. And whenever you have all this stuff on and you have a shirt thrown over it, man, nobody even knows you're carrying it. I love it. And then, of course, tourniquet. Now there's a few features I think the Vertex has that the 511 doesn't and should have. They're mostly internal, right? So right here, this looks like a tag, and it is a tag, but 
It's also a pocket for sear tools. Yeah, handcuff key, perfect. Fits perfect in there. And up in the front, there's another one. And uh, instead of putting a handcuff key in there, you could put a little compass in there. I really like that. Or a razor blade, whatever your fancy is. On the zipper here, they even feature another pocket. This one specifically for a shim, handcuff shim. Never even know it's there. I love that. I really like that because I already carry those kind of things mounted in my belts, backpacks, you know, and things. I just have stuff stashed. But the fact that I could just put it already in some pants is just awesome. Another thing I really like, especially for my area, since it's usually hot as shit and just torturous most of the year, these pockets are actually a mesh fabric. So they act kind of like vents, right? Now, does that mean the pocket is less durable? I don't know. I, I can't, like I said, I haven't tested these out yet. The pockets do seem to be deeper than the 511s, so you can really put some stuff down in there. But every single pocket, even these hip pockets, whatever you want to call them, they are also this mesh material. So that will allow you to kind of vent out all that hot air that builds up in your pants. The construction, yeah, these, these little pockets right here are actually kind of like a like a suede material. You're never even going to notice that you're wearing this and you have like keys and stuff stashed everywhere. Love it. Absolutely love it. But internally here, all the stitching and reinforcing seems to be very well done. The color, I just pulled this out of the wash today. They recommend that you wash it inside out. So that's what I did. I mean, I don't know if I've ever really done that with some pants, but hey, whatever. It's got some reinforced knees for whenever you're trying to get promotions. This, even the, their label here, has a stash pocket in it. This this side is left open. You can fit something in there. And this is fairly stiff, kind of like, you know, just a regular leather tag. You never know you have something in there. These are phenomenal clothes. Vertex does a, a great job with their shirts and their pants. And for guys that are working stuff off duty and still have to carry some stuff, or even people doing like personal security detachments, bodyguard work, whatever you want to call it. Low key and no key is the best key. And this right here, this type of clothing is just great. Now, for the price point, I think you're getting more with the Vertex, but like I said, I have not owned these as long as I have the 511s. They both seem to be great quality. The, the 511s have broke in very well. They're super comfortable and way better than a lot of other jeans I've worn. These, uh, I wore these for like an hour the first day I got them. I know that's nothing. I could tell like these these do flex. I did some basic stretches, exercises, some, some different stances with a couple of different firearms. And these, these moved with me. They didn't hold me back. I, I really, really want that out of some clothing. I don't want it to restrict my abilities. I would like them to enhance or at least not inhibit what I'm capable of. So these are just fantastic. For the money, I think you you get more for the Vertex than you do the 511s. Now, that being said, I kind of like the style of the 511s better. Um, they, they have a couple of different ones. They have like straight fits, they have skinny fits, they have a couple of other things. And you could just sew in your own, you know, sear pockets and hidden pockets in here if you wanted to. But I'm really gonna put these to the test compared to the 511s and definitely give an update probably in about a year or so on where um, you know these stand but so far these are kind of winning me over anyway guys i hope you really appreciate this video i hope it helps somebody out there that was kind of looking into buying these and maybe comparing them uh, i don't think you can really go wrong with either one they both cost about the same but i would say for like hot weather like, you know, hot to temperate weather. I think the uh, Vertex are really gonna come in handy with those vented pockets. I really can't wait to try, well, I, I can wait. I don't want it to be hot, but I know it's gonna be hot. So I look forward to seeing how well that, that works out. And I just love these little pockets sewn in, right? I mean, that's just slick. I uh, love it, love it, love it. Anyway, guys, like I said, hope you appreciated this video. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. It really helps me out. Uh, don't forget to follow us for giveaways. We also have an Instagram uh, at Cop Talk, and then we also are on, or it's Cop Talks on Instagram, and it's Cop Talk on Twitch. We do live reviews, we do gaming, we do just a bunch of goofy stuff over there. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Be kind. 
help somebody today. And uh, I guess I'll catch you in the next one.